quickly get on some Yuri nudes. Yuri news. Yuri news. Yuri news. Yuri news. Do you want to hear some Yuri news? Yes, you do want to hear Yuri news. I know you do. Don't act like you don't want to hear about what Yuri's doing. I know you want to hear about what Yuri's doing. I know you do. I do as well. Well, guess what? Allegedly, according to the Reddit, Yuri got kicked off of fucking what's it called? Yuri got kicked off of um kick. He was on their partner program or something and somehow yuri got kicked off the most liberal no rules you know crazy go and do what you want platform fucking wild but somehow yuri managed to do it this is the this is the page or this is the post on reddit on a no jumper reddit somebody said breaking pack watch news <laughs> pack watch news fired from no jumper yuri has now been fired from kick he announced this morning on stream he's been removed from the Kick Creator Incentive Program. What does that mean? I've never heard of this. I didn't know Kick had a Creator Incentive Program. So allegedly, Kick got a program to help creators. What's this about? Get paid. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, there's it. It's right there. Sorry. Kick Incentive Program. What is this about? I want to see. What's this? What? I've never heard of this in the slightest. Kick Incentive Program. Um. What is Kick Incentive Program is designed to compensate streamers with revenue per individual stream. We have just completed the prototype processing with 35 streamers. These individuals span a broad spectrum with average concurrent views ranging from 10 to 1,500. The device group includes real life streamers, high life, high intensity gamers, and musicians. Kick is allowing streamers to speak for streamers and develop the program. Eddie envisions a platform where hardworking streamers have the opportunity to capitalize on their creative endeavors with an industry of a first revenue sh program combined with kicks generous 95 five subscription revenue split streamers equipped with entrepreneurial spirit stand poised to promise financial journey ahead yo maybe i should join this maybe i should start doing fucking random show on here hmm what other benefits of the Kick Creative Incentive Program? Farming out platforms can be exhausting, especially when you spend considerable time attracting viewers on your channel. Kick introduces a refreshing change here. Not only do you retain a whopping 95% of the subscription venue, but you also compensate for the dedication and effort invested. Simply put, Kick values um, the the moil, the build up. You don't need an agent. You're in control by joining Kick Incentive Program. You're positioning yourself as a forefront incentive. As the Kick evolves, the creators make and find themselves at the heart. How do I join? Blah blah blah. So I guess it's like you get paid per stream. You get like a set salary. How does he get? How did he get fucking kicked out of this? Because Kick is known for being very free and liberal, and they've got all the crazy streamers on there, all the kids that people hate, like Neon and shit on there, right? How did fucking Yuri get kicked off a kick? His chat is coping hard. Why the fuck should kick pay you when you clearly take advantage of doing nothing all day? Oh, kick is okay. So Yuri's doing the subathon where he's not turning off his stream. He, people keep tipping him. Sometimes he sleeps. So maybe they're arguing that the kick incentive program is only if you're streaming and you're doing something on camera, you're vlogging, you're talking, you're playing the game. But if you're sleeping for eight hours per day, yeah, you're probably taking the piss out of it, and you're kind of exploiting the system. Um, he better get for, he better get a fault certified. Hopefully, Yuri, sorry, Riley puts his spanish jeans to work and make Yuri lunch. You know what people have been saying now, and I think someone else said in my comments, people are now looking at Riley a bit differently because of how much of a loser Yuri is people are now questioning whether or not Riley is also complicit because she's with this loser. Yuri's not going to change, clearly. He's very hard-headed, very stubborn, very delusional about his how he's perceived online and in general how he is as a person. But he's not going to change. He's quite consistently him. So if Riley stays with this guy, it says more about Riley than it says about Yuri because Yuri's made it plainly clear who he is as a person. He's obviously very, incredibly insufferable, incredibly obnoxious. And Riley's still there, so maybe they're meant for each other. I'd fucking hate Yuri as a co-worker. He's definitely one of those fools that want to smoke up your butt every day on lunch break. Exactly like dog pitching. Yuri, Yuri tried but failed. This time, it's time for a job now. Not even hating on him, just being real. He's failed as a YouTube personality. 30 years old, no car, no savings, drowning in credit card debt. Actually kind of love streaming for him. Keep up the work. You know what's funny? He did as he said on a stream. Yuri said on a stream 
that he got into credit card debt to buy weed or something. There was a time where he got into, he got, there was a time where he got into credit card debt for fucking weed. Yo, big up one bong hit. Yeah, I know I can dual stream, but this laptop can just about survive streaming on one thing. It's nowhere going to survive doing dual stream. So if I want to stream, I might do like, um, what I might do, I might do like a bonus show. So when I finish recording my random show, I might do like a bonus after show on kick. Just that. That'll be it. It won't be like a, I won't change it. It'll just be the same show, but I might do like a bonus after show and then try and get my views and time up on kick. And then who knows? Maybe I can join the incentive program. Fucking hell, mate. If they're, if, if they're giving, if they're fucking paying Yuri, they should fucking pay me. Fucking hell. He's fucking boring. Um, that's what he gets for messing with the homeless guy last night. Just turned on reading it. He's doing, he's complaining and trying to call his daddy ice for help. Okay, cool. I want to find out why he got kicked off. I really do want to find out. But anyway, let's see some videos of Yuri acting a fool. A new one. Yuri gets checked by Riley aggressive. Let's see what this is saying. Yuri got, Yuri got checked by Riley. What did Riley do to Yuri now? Moved on and you're making it this big. Now it's a whole thing because you're so upset about this. He's got such a punchable face in it. It's his face, isn't it? It's his face that's the annoying thing. Look at that face. <laughs> that's a guy that has never been punched in the face and a guy that clearly knows he's being a cunt. Like, he's got that. Like, he knows what he's doing. He knows how he presses his girlfriend's buttons. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, big up. Um, Really, big up Luke is sharing. I went to E1 last weekend to see Lily Palmer was amazing vibes. Really? Did you enjoy it? E1 is fucking horrendous, bro. If you had a good time, what well, well done to you. What they got going on anyway? I haven't seen E1's listing in a while. What's E1 doing? I haven't seen E1 listings in a while, bro. What events do they have coming up? Um, who they've got? Vault Intimate Sessions. Because ever since everyone found out that their founder is a former, is a, it was, was an IDF soldier, everyone abandoned them. Look at the lineups now. They're fucking awful, isn't it? Everyone basically has boycotted E1 and now they've got these lineups. Are, I don't know who any of these people are. They sound very EDM-ish. Love Juice sounds good. Whatever this night is, this Love Juice sounds nice, this event. Everyone else sounds horrendous. What is all this stuff? Way Out, the Pirate Copy, Braddy, Savio Testa. Who are these people? Bass Face. <gasps> Bass face is a big one, right? Bass face is drum and drum and bass, I think. I'd imagine. Or not how second the UKG, who knows? Um, crowded scenarios. <gasps> These DJ Bone, DJ Starlight. This is, looks like a good event. With Nasia back to back with the advent. That looks like a good one. Fourth of May. Ches Demia, Luke Solomon. They got some decent lineups still, but it's not where it used to be. Dennis Horvath. This is he's a good one. He's really good. Dennis Horvath, he's fucking amazing. That that's definitely a good booking there. Yes, yeah, kind of shit nights, isn't it? Wow, man, it's definitely fallen off. It's not where it used to be. Okay, cool. Lily Palm, okay. I'm glad you had fun, man. I'm glad you had fun, Luke is sharing. I'm glad you had fun. That You know what? That's what it's about. Sometimes I think in London, because we don't have that many venues, you sometimes have to go to shit clubs if you want to see somebody that you like. So if you like Lily Palmer and she's playing at fucking... E1, it is what it is. You just make it happen. Um, you just can't think too much about it. I think that's the only thing you can do. Anything else is a bit out of the, you know, whatever. But yeah, big up Lucas sharing. Hope you had a good time there. You did have a good time. Let's continue here. Because you're so upset about this. Stop making it a thing. Wow. Stop talking about it. All right, that's it. Sorry. Jesus Christ, you can't shut the fuck up. Wow. That was rude. Wow. Big up Riley. Is that how she talks to him now? That's good to hear. Riley growing some balls. Moved on. And you're making it this big. Now it's a whole thing. Because okay. you're so upset about this. Stop making it a thing. Oh. Stop talking about it. All right. That's it. Sorry. Jesus Christ. You can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> you know what's rude? Keep talking about our fights on camera like that. And telling me how I'm wrong when your face is in the camera, like just telling me how wrong I am. That's wow. She's finally starting to grow some fucking balls. Big up fucking Riley. Good to see. We love to see it. I'm not gonna lie. We absolutely love to see it. We fucking love to see it. Any more clips of Yuri before I leave you guys? Um. Oh, we got another one. This is um. Actually, let's get to Riley. What Yuri wants quickly. Yuri pissed off a homeless man and nearly got stabbed last night. Let's see this. 
Isn't that the skate spot? Yeah, that isn't it. That's le isn't that a skate spot? Guys in the stream chat, those of you that skate, isn't this a isn't this a skate spot? Why do I recognize this place? Are they in San Fran somewhere? Or am I bugging? If you're in a stream chat and you know this, uh, do, uh, isn't this a space? Isn't this a skate spot? Hmm. Looks very familiar to something. I don't know what spot I'm thinking of, but it looks like a skate spot to me. I don't know who you are. I'm looking at these stairs. I'm crippled. Look at my legs. Yeah. You're looking pretty good. Why is Yuri? Is this like, is this IRL streaming? Is you are arguing with like crippled people? Like what, what the fuck is going on here? This is so depressing, bro. So utterly depressing. I swear my life is so depressing. What the hell is going on here? How much? Uh. You ever fuck with, you ever fuck with an orange? You ever fuck with an orange? No, like an orange. Yeah. Yeah. It felt so good. Yeah. You should get an orange. <laughs> you you have pants on. Oh no! Oh shit! Ah, ah, oh fuck! I believe you. You got pants. You have pants. I believe you. But oh, you're naked. Where's your pants at? Where's your mom? Where's your money? What? Where's your camera? Your camera's right here. Put some pants on. It's oh, cold. My dick. It's cold. No, it ain't cold. It's real. Jesus okay. Christ, man. Okay. All right, so, fair. So what's your Why is he doing this? This is so abusive. Why is he like antagonizing and trolling homeless people? Like, what is this? Is this meant to be fun? What a cunt. So we are. TikTok? No. What? Kick. Okay. I'm kicking it. Me? I'm watching these guys. I'm no, no, no. You're naked, dude. You're naked. I'm ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the f Oh sh Go back a bit. Alright, fuck it, whatever. Let's run it back. <laughs> let's, let's get the stairs from the bottom. Why is he like this? Why is he like this? I'm back. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> He's trying to attack me, dude. Is this meant to be funny? This guy's like twelve. His humor is like Jesus what Christ. What the? I'm not going back there, dude. He trying to attack me. What the fuck? What? He, I think he had something in his hand. Oh hell no! Nah. Oh, now I'm scared, dude. Oh no. Is it even worth it to go back there? Where is he? Excuse me, sir. Can I buy you some pants? Where did he go? He's trying to ambush me. Hello? Sir? This guy's awful, man. His content is Can so. I... I'll give you shit. my pants. And this is so weird, and I don't know why he's enjoying it also. This is fucking terrible. Fuck you know, Yuri. you got to do better than this, surely, man. You have to do better than this. Another Yuri video. Yuri, what's that? Yuri takes his problems out on Riley. Let's see what this is about. Oh, it's just about the getting kicked off of the center program. Let's see what this is about. Chat, one second. We have three minutes. So I have to, like, clean all this shit up. I don't know what Riley's doing. Hold on. I have to clean all this shit up. No, Sorry, no. chat. I'm cleaning too, Yuri. No, you're not there standing. No. I wasn't. He was going to the bathroom. I closed him Exactly. Big up Luke. Luke is sharing level of You know what's funny about this? Yeah, exactly. Sam Pepper. Exactly. Sam, I think that's... You know what's funny you say that? 
his hero is Ice Poseidon. He he models his whole career life on Ice Poseidon. Imagine looking up to Ice Poseidon and Sam Pepper. Imagine looking up to. I know some kids probably do, but he's far too old. Allegedly, he's like thirty. Allegedly, but he's old enough to know better. Basically, he's not like early twenties. He's like late twenties. It's like, bruh, come on, man. You have to grow up. You have to grow up. like this to find this type of stuff funny at that age is wild. To do it as a quote unquote job is insane. And to purposely put yourself in those positions for entertainment is fucking batshit crazy. Like I'd rather work in a fucking target. You know what I mean? I'd rather fucking do a regular job than have to do this. Like honestly. Even though he's making a lot of money, like how many subs has he got? Like what? One thousand what the video says he had like one two thousand, nearly two thousand subs. He's got like one thousand two hundred and ninety. He has what like let's say his subs are like five ninety nine per let's say they are or four ninety nine, I don't know. Let's say he got one thousand two hundred subs. So he's maybe making like seven grand a month or something, right? With the splits, maybe a six grand thousand a month doing this stuff. I don't think there's enough money in the world you can pay me to do this, I'm not gonna lie. To do IRL streaming like this, if it's IRL streaming that I do in my own way where I'm having my own fun but not like going around antagonizing homeless people and purposely trying to get cause that's what Ice Poseidon's style of like vlogging and IRL streaming is purposely put yourself in positions to you know to force something to get a reaction so that you can have like a moment it's like nah like that's degenerate shit I'd rather work a normal job I'm not gonna lie I'll never do that Riley with the yeah Stop brining me! I'm not brining you. I'm brining the situation. It's so fucked. Oh, I love that she's annoyed by the bra. By the way, everyone else is annoyed in the stream, but I thought she didn't mind. But because like, who calls their girl bra? I'm glad that Riley's getting annoyed with the bra. She doesn't like the bra because that's so weird. I've never got away with like, imagine it's like trying to spud your girlfriend. Like, she if, if your girlfriend's real and an actual woman, she's not gonna let you spud her. Do you know what I mean you can't be spudding your boy girlfriend? That's not your fucking bro. So it's good that she's getting upset about the bra. Good. Why is it so fun? Because my camera's broken. My camera won't work. There's a definition of fuck. Someone in the stream chat is saying, bro, you were literally still asleep an hour ago. Stop taking it out on Riley and set an alarm and wake up at 4.30 every day. I have no sympathy for you. Exactly. I wake up exactly. I love how his, his stream chat keep uh, on him. Big up Regin Hater. Big up Reg and Hater, they're on him. They, I have no sympathy for you. I have woke up every 4.30 every day, exactly. You want to go to Best Buy? Big up Joe from MIA. I was in, I was in, um, I was in SF last August and it was a decent during the day, but as the evening progressed, the streets became desolate and people disappeared because there was nothing good after dark. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine, yeah, big up Jared Merritt, I can see the accounting show, lols. But yeah, I can imagine SF being the type of place when it gets when it gets dark. I can imagine SF being the typical place where it's like nothing good happens after 9 p.m. Like when that place gets dark, it gets dark. God damn it. Bruh, this is so lame, dude. Bruh. Yo, big up, big up, big up, big up. Bean cheese, 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 bean Yes. Big up, Wingus McDingus. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you for joining, my friend. Hope you're well, my friend. Hope you're well, hope you're well, hope you're well. Slap her, do you slap her, Yuri? Do what the Russians in in you would do.
I have to put that away too. What can I help you with, Reed? You can tell me what to help you with. I don't have time to give you instructions on how to fucking me cleaning up my okay, stuff. Okay, stop taking everything out on me then. We John, both look at the land. You are. Fucking hell, man. What a weird relationship. To have this all this stuff play out on camera is so bizarre, man. He's clearly abusive. They're clearly in a very dysfunctional relationship, but they're weirdly perfect for each other. Weirdly, they're very, very perfect for each other. They, they, they met each other at the best time in their lives, where they're both, you know, figuring shit out. They're both a bit of a mess. But they're probably going to look back on this in many years to come and be like, ooh, you know what I mean? They're probably going to both cringe. Because, God damn. Chill. Stop it. Yeah. Anyway, you got it. You got, you got, you got the gist. You got the gist. You got the gist. You got the gist. Um, there's another one here. Yeah, Yuri pressed by Riley for no deodorant and horrible smell. Oh my god, let's see this one. Yuri gets pressed by his girlfriend to, for not showering and not using a deodorant. Let's see what it says here. Dude, it smells so bad. When? I need to shower. Do you know, have you guys got friends like this, by the way? Do you, some of you, some of the, my Caucasian viewers, do you guys have friends like this who are at this age who don't shower? Is this normal? I know showering for some people isn't the most enjoyable thing in the world, but you get it done. It's like brushing your teeth. No one fucking enjoys it, but you just do it, right? You just get it done. Do you have friends who like really don't want to shower, like legitimately, and you hang out with them? Because this is wild, bro. You're smelling kind of funky last night when you like lifted your arm up. Why aren't you putting on deodorant? I don't know where it is. It's, you keep hiding it from me. It's right in front of you. It's, I keep it and leave it out in every bathroom you've been in. It's literally right in front of your face, and you haven't even asked. You keep hiding it from me. How do you not embarrass with these clips? Dude, I smell so bad. I need to shower. Yeah, you do. You were smelling kind of funky last night when you like lifted your arm up. Why aren't you putting on deodorant? I don't know where it is. It's, you keep hiding it from me. It's right in front of you. It's, I keep it and leave it out in every bathroom you've been in. It's literally right in front of your face, and you haven't. I love how they kind of sound the same now. I guess it happened to all couples, and they kind of sound similar. Anyway, that was fucking depressing. I'm going to end it there, my friends.